This is DMG, and today we're making a mirror. Reflect that. So, a standing mirror. This uh, is going to require a small sheet of card stock and three lollipop tongue depressor sticks that you can get from a craft store or a supermarket or you've probably got a whole bunch left over from other projects we've done before. So then on one side of the cardboard we're going to stick all the lollipop sticks and then just trace down the side so we know exactly how wide it's going to be and then going to do two arcs and it's roughly going to be two and a half inches or five and a half centimeters. And uh, then we're just going to uh, cut that out as a rectangle first, don't cut out the circle. Then flip it over and run some hot glue around on the back. And we're going to place down the lollipop sticks right up to the edges, right at the edge, and then right up against each other. And uh, that's going to form the back of the mirror. So make sure that that cardstock is pushed down quite well. And then mark where the edges of the curves are on the sides, on both sides. So flip it over and do the other sides. You're going to mark just where that curve is going to start. And that's going to help you with guiding to um, apply these braces across the back. So we're just going to put some hot glue down and drop on the um, matchsticks. So these are matchsticks without heads. Um, also available at craft stores. You can use matches, but obviously you want to cut the heads off. So there we go, weird rectangle shape with two prongy things sticking out. And then we just use the magic scissors to lop them off. Now the secret to this, a lot of people ask me, is it must be far back in the scissors and you cut very slowly in small little bits. So don't try and cut all the way down with the scissors. So you're moving it back and just very slightly cutting, moving back, etc, etc. Um, and that will stop the um, tongue depressors from actually cracking and breaking. So as you can see, these are not super heavy duty scissors or anything. These are just basic even paper scissors. And then you can just tidy up the edges and cut off any excess cardboard that's left over. And uh, this is forming the base of our mirror. So then we're going to grab a toothpick and we're going to grab two off cuts of the lollipop sticks. And we're going to measure about two inches down. As you can see, it doesn't go all the way to the top of the mirror. So it goes about to the first uh, brace at the, at the, on the back. And just measure that and cut off the excess. So now we've got two of those. And then in the middle of the curve, we're just going to poke a hole with a compass as we did with the well video. So this is to then poke a hole through here and uh, best to do it against the um, the cardboard or the cutting mat or whatever you're using uh, because if you do this uh, it cracks so you want to do it up against the cardboard so that you've created a hole first and once you've created a hole then it then you can push through here just to widen the hole so always down on the mat first and uh, poke through the hole there and then you can pick it up and widen the hole with the compass. Now of course if you've got a pin drill or something like that you can obviously use that. This is just the, the things that we'd already had so there's no point in going out and buying anything extra. Then shove the toothpick through one hole and then measure just a little bit probably about five millimeters on each side of the actual mirror base and chop off the excess uh, toothpick and then taper the end so that you can poke it through the hole on the other side and then twist in have it there and then cut off any sharp bits that may stick a child in the eye or a drunken adventurer and then we're going to grab some tin foil and we're going to run some hot glue over the front of the cardstock on that mirror base and then shiny side up we're going to plonk the, the uh, tin foil on aluminium foil or aluminum foil depending on where you are in the world and then with another piece of cardstock because it will be hot uh, you're just going to run it over there for a few seconds to completely flatten it and then cut off the excess leaving about two millimeters of foil on each side of the mirror and fold it over the back so uh, there you have the mirror itself 
and you'll see now that um, it's quite flat and shiny and the hot glue helps with um, keeping that flat. So then just run a line of hot glue over the back and the stand that we've created uh, and you want to hold it at an angle so that when it cures the mirror is at a slight probably 10 or 15 degree angle and then with another lollipop stick we're just going to create a base for it to stand on hot glue on each side of that and then push the legs of that stand onto that hot glue and there we go we have the base stand now this will stand on its own um, as you see here but what we're going to do is actually create a better stand so hot glue along the bottom onto a piece of cardstock and uh, we're going to just grab a pair of scissors and cut a curve around there you've seen this when we did the doors we did this and just cut right around and then at the back we just you see there it's standing we just want to cut off that curve so there's a little bit left three or four millimeters left at the back and then you have a mirror standing mirror so the next thing we're going to do is grab just two pieces of masking tape and stick it lightly onto the surface of the mirror and this is to prevent the spray paint from actually affecting the mirror when we um, black bomb it so now that we've black bombed, we're going to then use all the techniques you've seen in wood before so it's basically brown and yellow and uh, mixed to the consistency that you like paint all the wood areas you can let some of the black show through that's fine and then dry brushing white which is basically um, put white on the brush and then take as much of the uh, paint off as you can and then run it across the grain of the wood in order for that wood grain to actually jump out at you and we're just using boots of speed to shoot this along and on the edge of the mirror just paint white so that when you peel off the masking tape you now have a perfectly clean mirror and uh, voila so we haven't painted the base uh, because if you're going to use this on any other sort of flooring whether it be wood or something like that it'll just look like a shadow so that's how I make a mirror now if you like these videos you click the like button you can also subscribe to the channel to see future videos and at the end of the video you'll see some of the community showcase that I've started doing now, you can also check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and there's an email newsletter on my website, thedmg.info. We'll also find a store if you feel like purchasing some products to help support this channel. It's one of those days when you look in the mirror and all you see is this. a whole lot of pig. Guess what his name is? That's right. Bacon.